For me, kayak fishing is simple. A boat, a paddle, a fishing rod, and unspoiled water. The fish are big. The chaos is beautiful. It's angling's addictive final frontier, and I'm hooked. I'm Drew Gregory, and this is Hooked on Wild Waters. Christina can tell that I'm just itching to get on the water and catch a fish, especially since snook live in this area and I don't get a chance to get down here to catch snook very often. So she gives me the pass. I go out in this morning just by myself, just trying to catch some fish. And let me tell you what, it's one of the most beautiful places I've ever been. If you've never been to Tampa and the mangroves there and the inshore fishing, you definitely need to give it a shot. So today, I'm in the Tampa Bay area to catch one of my favorite fish that I've hardly ever caught any of. So how can you have a favorite fish that you've hardly caught any of? I don't know, but if there is one, it's the snook for me. And that's why I'm here in Tampa. You got the mangroves, you got the flats. It's home of massive snook everywhere. Of course, I'm not gonna pass up a redfish, a trout, a flounder, or anything else, but my goal is a big snook. So let's see if I can do it. Today on the water, I'm using the Z-Man Lures Streaks, and I've got it on just a 1 16th ounce you know, weighted hook. I'm also using a Paddlers from Z-Man, and it's a four inch Paddlers, and I'm throwing it on a 1 8th ounce jig head. So you can throw a heavier lure a lot further, and the key to really sneaking up and catching these bigger fish in here, it's gonna be making long casts in this clear water. You just have to be very stealthy. Right off the bat, I catch a small snook. Oh, there's one, there's one. And I'm getting really excited because once you start learning the pattern and it's early in the day, you just have that confidence to just keep you going and keep keep that uh, momentum. Oh yeah, there we go. A little snook action. Right when we were saying, it's time to move on from this spot. She hammered it. Keep my drag nice and loose. Whoa, some aerial acro acrobatics there. Probably gonna run right underneath the kayak, isn't she? Yeah, I love them because you can lift them just like a bass. Which is what I'm used to. There we go, nice little snooky snook. Oh man, they shake hard, they fight hard. You know, I love these fish because they're so similar to bass. You can see with this big mouth right here. Check this out, they'll eat anything that fits inside of here. In this case, it was the Streaks by Z-Man that I love in this Houdini color. But they'll eat anything that just fits right in this mouth right here. They're a ferocious predator, similar to bass, but of course, all the salt guys will make sure, I need to mention they fight a lot harder than bass, of course, and they get a lot bigger than bass. So that's what we're gonna go find is a big one. Such a cool fish though. The tide is perfect right now. It's low and it's coming in right now. So if I can just keep it going, I'm gonna catch more. This is absolutely incredible in here. I mean, even, you know, skiffs and motorboats, they can definitely get in shallow waters, but there are certainly still places you cannot get without being in a kayak just like this. And of course, once you get there, you find unpressured fish, wild water, beautiful animals everywhere and scenery. It just does not get any better than this. So you probably can't tell from where I'm sitting now because it's pretty calm, but the wind has really picked up. That plus the currents made things very challenging. What we're gonna try to do is tuck into spots just like this to have a nice high mangrove wall right behind us here and skip our baits underneath there. Hopefully we'll get bit some more.
After missing some big snook that I saw in the water, I mean, I just have to find a way to get on the water one more day while I'm here. I know I need, just need one more day because they're right there. I've seen them. They're there. I know where they're at to get on the water and I can catch one. So I'm going to see what I can work out with Christina and uh, maybe kind of wiggle my way into uh, one more day of fishing while I'm here. As you know, the title of the show is called Hooked on Wild Waters with Drew Gregory. But I don't do it alone. There's an entire crew behind the scenes. One of those is my wife, Christina Gregory. I could not do it without her help and support along the way. I love being on the water, whether I'm fishing behind him or whether I'm taking pictures and communicating with the sponsors and the community. We just love everything that we do and how it involves us in the communities. No doubt about it, it's definitely incredible to have my wife with me. It's like having a best friend on the road and uh, couldn't do it without you. You're so instrumental to the show and my life personally. And I wanna go ahead and let's go out to Tampa. Let's go explore, yeah, let's see what's around this out. town, all right? And Christina finds this beautiful spot called uh, Honeymoon Island State Park. And there's trails and there's beaches. There's even a dog friendly beach. We could let Lou kind of run around and have a good time. And we just took it easy there, hung out and, and just got the relaxing in that we needed. While we're down in Tampa, we decided to stop by our good friends at Powerpole. They make the micro anchor, and honestly, I couldn't fish without this product. It's incredible. On most episodes, you'll notice I have a long, tall spike on the back of my kayak, and people are always asking me, Drew, what in the world is that? Is that a camera mount? What is that long thing? And it's actually a micro anchor spike from Powerpole. And we're here at the JL Marine Systems offices and factory today. We're with Kurt Hill. They make the micro anchor and many other shallow water anchors as you can see all around us. And Kurt, tell us a little bit about the company. How did it get started? I mean, this is a whole new category you guys invented. You are correct. We are the original shallow water anchor that was out there. 1999 was the first one. The product that you use, the micro anchor, was actually in 2013. So I'm blown away by such a unique product and I was curious how it was made. So I had to stop by. I had to show all the Hooked on Wild Waters fans out there exactly how this product is made. It's really not that complicated of a process. We bring the raw metal in, inspect it, get it up to powder coating, bring it back down, get all the stickers and decals on it, uh, get it assembled, put together and boxed up and out the door. Okay, so maybe more of the complicated part to this product in my mind, it's gotta be the software then. You know, so that the, the spike knows when to stop, when to keep driving down. There's the auto up, auto down with the bottom sensing technology. Um, right. There's theft recovery if something does happen to it and it gets stolen. There's diagnostics and there's sensitivity settings in there as well. And you can do all of this through our app that we have available. Well, Kurt, thank you so much for your time today, man. Everybody out there, all the fans of Hooked on Wild Waters, definitely go check this product out because I know for a fact I have caught fish, literally, Kurt, because I had this product on my kayak. And if I didn't have it, there's no way I could have caught that fish. So it's definitely changed fishing for me and it can change it for you. So get more information and find a dealer at PowerPole.com. I always love to meet up with my sponsors when I'm in their neck of the woods. And 13 Fishing is right there in the Tampa area, so I meet up with the guys and I tell them a little bit about my day, how I caught some fish but didn't get the big one. And Jim Coble, he's the president and founder of 13 Fishing, he says, Drew, we gotta get you out to my special spot. I'm telling you, I catch good fish there all the time and there's no way if we go out there, we have one whole day, we're not gonna catch something good, whether it's a big red, a big snook, a trout, whatever. And of course, that piques my interest and I'm ready to rock. Jim, what are we going to be doing out here? What do you think we'll catch? Uh, a little bit of everything. This Filman's Bayou behind us is known for just about any little inshore species you can find. It's, uh, it's small, it's protected, it stacks up, uh, especially on windy days like this. So anything from ladyfish and canal tuna to 40 inch snook.
How adventurous are you feeling? And I'm always feeling adventurous. We have to go drag across oyster bars to get to some secret hidden lagoon. That may be what happens. So Jim wants to take me down some of the secret little creeks that open up in these ponds that have a lot of really good redfish in there. Problem is, we can't get back there. We gotta wait for the tide to move up further. We tried, we were dragging our kayaks through the creek and we are like, this is just not happening. So in the meantime, we decided, hey, while we're waiting, we could just fish the channel here. It's a little bit deeper water and catch a ladyfish. Woo! Acrobatics for us. We're just killing time lady fishing right now. Waiting for this tide to start moving again. But it's a fun way to do it. I'm hooked on any fish, any species, non-discriminatory. Here we go. He is right here. So this is a great fish to catch, you know, when the tide's low and nothing's happening. A ladyfish is a really, really good fighting fish. A lot of people call it the poor man's tarpon because it does just jump and leap and it's long and slender and, and very silver, just like a tarpon. If you're ever bored out there and just want to have a, a little bit of tug on the line, definitely go try catching some ladyfish. There are some incredible wildlife in Florida. And one of my favorites is the manatee. It's always a joy to see them on the water in their natural element. And I stumbled upon a couple small ones and uh, man, what a beautiful, beautiful creature. Finally, the tide rises enough we can get into these, what we call ponds, really. They're essentially just these narrow creeks that open up into, into basically just this big circle. If you look at it on the satellite imagery, that's all it is, just a, a big circle. And, and there's really not any other entrances or exits, so the fish are all gonna be sort of trapped there in a dead end, if you will, cul-de-sac. And right when we pulled in, I knew this was gonna be the place that if it happened, it was going to be here. And it didn't take long. You know, I'm making casts right along the bank. I'm seeing fish, I know it's a good sign. And redfish, fortunately, are you know, not quite as spooky. You can see them, they'll spook off, but the next thing you know, you can still catch them you know, five, 10 minutes later, even as they're spooking away. And uh, I throw a cast right along the bank, and sure enough, fish on. I'm getting towed around here. It's a nice little, Nice little red. I don't know if it's a... Is it gonna be a powerful red? There we go. Sometimes you gotta go over the micro anchor. It is tricky. Oh gosh. All right, here we go. She's about played out. I don't know if this is in the slot. And I'm pulling this redfish. It's not the monster I'm looking for, but it's definitely a good sign that the fish are here. They're biting. There we go. Come here, girl. There we go. Beautiful red here. Beautiful fish. He smoked that paddlers in the smoky shag color, by the way. Nice little 1 8 ounce jig head to keep it high in the water column. Jim, you took me to the right spot, man. Jim was definitely not joking about this spot because right after I caught my fish, I hear him hollering over there and he's got one on too. Oh, Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. Looking redfish is fun for me. Dude, that is awesome. Now we're into some fish. That's a pretty fish. This is a little bit bigger, so we're starting to grow in size. So we're getting confident here. Okay, he's got a nice, solid, you know, slot size redfish. Yes. Woo, calm down, calm down. There's you a Philman's Bayou redfish. Beautiful. No slot, she's gorgeous. We hopefully are gonna get one that's even bigger than that. That's what our whole goal is here. That's what he told me, he said, Drew, you're gonna catch something big here. I want that something big, Jim, come on. So. We just keep fishing, keep working our way around, thinking eventually it's gonna hit. Oh, there we go, there we go. Yes, this is something big, something big. Woohoo! 
I get them to the boat, and I can tell it may be over the slot line. This is talking in the 30s, and the fish could be in the 30s for a redfish, and that's a really, really good sized redfish. Now they're really, really feeding now. The tides come back in. This day has turned around big time. Let me tell you what. Whoa, this has got some shoulders on her. They're just cruising these mangrove banks. I'm paralleling this swim bait right along. And they are feeding. Oh, <laughs> oh my arms are burning. She's pulling line. You know it's a big fish and you gotta take a hand and do this. Take that second hand, kind of help her along. So finally I wrestled this big, big redfish in. All right, almost there, come on, stay on. Stay on, this is a beast. This is an absolute beast of a red. Oh, come here, ah. come on, come on. There we go, wow! This is why we're hooked on wild waters right here. What a beautiful red. The Tampa Bay area, this is why Jim took me to his spot right here. What a beautiful fish. I owe him so much. It's been an amazing time here in Tampa. This is exactly why you need to get down here yourself and get a kayak, go out there and get hooked on wild waters. So as I'm releasing that redfish, I'm watching it swim away. You know, it's towards the end of the day. We came what we were after. Even though it was hard and we had to fight the tide, and we had to fight the wind, and just every obstacle in our way, we had to work around it to get that fish that made it all worthwhile. I think back on the entire trip at this point, and I'm thinking about the good times I had uh, with my dog on the water, with my wife on the water, with my friends and sponsors and partners on the water, and all of it, just all of it together, is definitely all the reasons I'm hooked on wild waters. Drew Gregory's Hooked on Wild Waters has been brought to you by Jackson Kayak, we make fun. GoPro, be a hero. Bending branches, pretty, smart paddles. Orion Coolers, never lose your cool. 13 Fishing, make your own luck. Z-Man Lures, the science and art of fishing.